Hi there, uh, I'm James Murphy and I'm the Programme Director at TechVets. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get across exactly what we're about, how we support the armed forces community and how you can get access to us. My background, I was in the military for 19 years, um, served in the infantry and the intelligence world. And then I left and I moved into cyber threat intelligence, heading up that sort of function within government digital services. And then I joined TechVets uh, as a member when I was leaving and actually used TechVets to land my first role. I then took over in January 2020 and since then have been able to build an incredible team with some amazing people. Uh, so the team you see today with Colin, Rachel and Jenna and then Meredith supporting with all the marketing side of things um, has been built over the last sort of two years. What is TechVets all about? Well, first and foremost, it's worth noting that we are a programme within the Forces Employment Charity. We're also a community led project and we don't monetize anything that we do. So we rely on charity grants, philanthropic donations and primarily charity or, um, or foundation arms of big tech. What that means is everything that our members get is 100% free. There's no paybacks, there's no deceptions, there's no buyout clauses or anything like that. No subscription fees, training is all free, etc. It also means that when companies want to hire from the TechVets community, they do so without paying any fees. I refuse to monetize our community. The best way to explain TechVets is to break it down into the three core areas. But first, I suppose it's probably useful if I explain the mission. Now, TechVets was designed, built, created, born, if you will, to do one thing, and that was to create a bridge for the armed forces community into information technology careers. We could see the demand within the tech world for the skills that we know are generally the core sort of soft skills, professional skills of those with the armed forces community membership in their bag. And that might be service leavers, veterans, or the partners and spouses. What we also knew was there was a lot of demand for more people to go into the tech world, but we also know how quickly and how well the armed forces community members can learn technical things. They've done it regularly, day in, day out, learning different pieces of comms equipment and, and, and systems, you know, weapon systems, systems of systems, processes, et cetera. And because most of it is process driven and there's an inquisitive mind and there's an instant sort of mindset around looking for what's wrong, uh, what needs fixing, um, it tends to work quite well. The mission is to create that bridge to essentially build on the skills and strengths of experience within the armed forces community to boost the UK's digital economy. Now we do that across the three core areas, as I said, one of those is the online community. One area is the training and upskilling, and the third is the employment support. The online community is probably our unique selling point. It is the leading community that I've ever seen of its kind people in a community who are all curious, passionate or already in IT careers. We have over 4,500 members in there and around 20-25% of those are veterans or military partners and spouses who are already in IT careers. And what this does is create an opportunity for people to get in direct contact with people in a really easy way. There's loads of channels down the side that provide you know, an easy way of you navigating to relevant content and you can get in touch with all sorts of people. So, for example, if you want to learn more about security operations, you can speak directly to the director of global threat hunting at Microsoft. You know, or if you want to get into penetration testing, we've got people who are Czech team leaders um, and experienced pen testers or offensive security specialists. We've got everything you can think of from product and, and project through to software dev and web dev and um, cyber security specialists, data specialists the works. It means you can get rid of all of those myths and um, demystify the sort of world of tech. It means you can have a better understanding uh, of what skills are required in what kind of roles, what certifications and accreditations hiring managers are actually looking at um, and, and feel the add value to the, those that are coming into their organisation, which can help you avoid spanking thousands of pounds on irrelevant certifications or in training that's not necessarily aligned to the sort of career pathway that you're looking to move into. Beyond that, you get help upskilling. So there's people in there that can help you when you get stuck. And then finally, with the pastoral support. Now, clearly, that's something you'll be used to in here um, in, in this community. But the ability to be able to jump in, retain that identity and within a group of people that not only share the common background of having served or being part of the armed forces community, but also that curiosity or passion around the IT world. Uh, and that's a really strong component.
once people have come in and they've asked their questions and got rid of all the myths and started to understand what path they way they want uh, to pursue, they can then access the second part, which is training and upskilling. Now, we partner with over 20 organisations who provide access to free training, premium training that would either be at cost or inaccessible if you're not a TechVets member. That training is also all fully remote, self-paced, virtually accessed. This means you can build that training plan around your busy lives. And that training will get you upskilled in everything from the tech enabled stuff. So where your soft skills are the leading skill set, but actually you need to be tech aware. You need to understand a bit about technology, your IT project managers, your product managers, your user researchers, digital marketing. Uh, we've got IT support training, people that help support organizations uh, you know, to keep their IT maintained and online and working. We've got IT infrastructure, so everything from your network engineering, network specialisms with CCNA and CCMP sort of training, all the way through to the cloud stuff um, with, you know, AWS. Then we get to the sort of cybersecurity training, and that's where you break that down into all sorts. There's, you know, the sort of tier one SOC analyst pathway stuff with immersive labs. We've got cyber training. There's all sorts in there that can get people upskilled in, cy in, in cyber, including some more managerial level stuff with access to CISP training and, and more. We also have all the CompTIA training. So you can go out and do all the training for free and then pay the smaller sum for the exam. And to put that into perspective, you could be paying your entire LCAS packet for the year and blow that on a course for Network Plus and Security Plus. And, you know, that's a few thousands and you get the exams with it. Or you could do Network Plus, then do Security Plus, take the Security Plus exam, which pretty much trumps the Network Plus anyway, and you can pay sort of £250 for that exam rather than and self-fund that and then save your LCAS for, for better things. We also have uh, loads of um, data training. So data, if you want to be a, a finance analyst, business analyst, if you want to be um, a data analyst, we've got advanced data analytics, data engineering, visualization engineering, um, at, all the way through to data science. Um, and then we've also got the low code and the programming courses as well. Like I say, these are accessed, you know, online, you know, totally free and um, self-paced. Finally, so you've come into the community, you've had all that advice and guidance that never goes away. We provide you lifelong support. You never have to leave. You've always got that community behind you, but they've managed to give you enough information and advice for you to start your plan. You build your upskilling journey, you access the training for free. And once you're doing that training, you lean on the community again for any support when you get stuck. Um, and then finally, you're ready to look for those roles. We have a CV distribution service, which gets your CV out to over 100 Crest member companies across the UK. And we're currently redesigning uh, the CV review service, but that's where you can get your CV reviewed by hiring managers in the IT world who are also veterans. And then finally, we have a jobs board where companies promote all of their roles um, for zero cost, uh, zero fees. Um, and you would have seen Jenna or myself posting these sort of announcements on a Friday. So you can see the kind of roles we have available. And again, you can access that. You can you can build in your your alerts based on various search queries to get those when those jobs come in relevant to you, to what you're looking for. You get that straight into your inbox. And that's it. That's um, yeah, that's pretty much the, the whistle stop tour of tech vets. So we're, we're a program within the Force Employment Charity. We don't monetize anything what, that we do. So everything's free. You get access to an incredible online community, access to a huge portfolio of free training. You get access to a great jobs board and, and some various other aspects of employment support. And all of that, that leading program in what we do is all 100% free. And you can register for that by going to www.techvets.co. The link is on the screen. Once you get there, you fill in the registration form, you get a welcome email and, and off you go. If anyone ever wants to reach out, get in touch with Colin, who will give you any answers around the community side of things. If you've got anything to do with training, Rachel's available or Jenna for anything employment wise, whether it's asking about the sort of job trends or if you're an employer who wants to pr um, promote your roles with us, um, then speak to Jenna. And I'm here for general stuff, so please feel free to reach out if you've got any questions. Um, but that's TechVets. Um, best of luck, and I look forward to seeing you all in the TechVets community.